Hi everyone, today we are going to study the chain rule. If f of u is differentiable at the point u equals g of x, and g of x is differentiable at x, then the composite function f composite g of x equals f of g of x is differentiable at x and f composite g prime of x equals f prime of g x times g prime of x. In words, differentiate the outside function and evaluate it at the inside function left alone. Then, multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Let's have example 1. Differentiate sine of the quantity x squared plus x with respect to x. Let us write the formula for the chain rule. So d over dx of sine of the quantity x squared plus x. We can see here that the sine is the outside function and the polynomial x squared plus x is the inside function. Using the pattern here, we write cosine of the quantity x squared plus x. The derivative of sine is cosine. And we copy the inside function as is. Then multiply by the derivative of this function x squared plus x. That's why we have here 2x plus 1. And the final answer is the quantity 2x plus 1 times the cosine of x squared plus x. Take note that this function here cannot be combined with this function x squared plus x because the 2x plus 1 is a polynomial function while the x squared plus x is the angle for the cosine. This is our final answer. Let us see this example too. Find f composite g prime at x equals 1. Given f of x equals x raised to 6 plus 1 and g of x equals square root of x. For our solution, let us show first that f composite g of x equals f of g of x. Let us substitute the value of g of x in here. So we have now on the right side f of the square root of x. Simplifying this f of square root of x, the square root of x raised to 6 plus 1. We can simplify this expression into x cubed plus 1. This time, we are ready to take the derivative of x cubed plus 1. So the f composite g prime of x equals 3x squared. This is the derivative of this polynomial function. Now, at x equals 1, we can show that f composite g prime of 1. This is equal to 3 times 1 square. This 1 square is simply 1. 1 times 3 is simply 3. This is our final answer. Example 3. Find y prime of y equals the quantity x cubed plus 4x minus 7 all raised to power 6. 
let us write the formula for the chain rule in here take note that the outside function is the power function that power 6 and the inside function is the polynomial function this trinomial here so for the derivative we write like this we have 6 times the quantity x cubed plus 4x minus 7 this trinomial is now raised to 5 times the derivative of the polynomial function so we have 3x squared plus 4 this is our final answer let us have this example 4 find the derivative of the function y equals 7 all over the quantity 2 plus 3x all raised to 2. At first, let us rewrite the function as y equals 7 times the quantity 2 plus 3x and this is now raised to negative 2. Then let us write the formula for the chain rule. Let's take note again that the outside function is the power function and the inside function is the polynomial function now for the derivative we will write like this this big expression here correspond to the f prime while this three correspond to the derivative of the inner function the g prime then let us simplify by multiplying the constants so we have negative 42 times the quantity 2 plus 3x all raised to negative 3. Let us rationalize the negative exponent. So we have now this negative 42 all over the quantity 2 plus 3x all raised to 3. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.